Okay, third grade team, we have May number corner, final month, amazing. All right, calendar grid, it is all about uh, area and fractions, okay? And it's super nice. So the first uh, marker is gonna be this outline figure that has 24 squares and 24 of them are gonna be colored in. So it's 24 out of 24, which is one whole rectangle colored in, the color purple. Whereas the second one, which is right here, the second one has an outline figure of 24, but then the colored region has four right here. So now my fraction could be four 24ths. I could also say that's two 12ths or also one sixth. So it would be nice to put that calendar marker under a transparency and then you're able to draw on it with your whiteboard marker for the kids to see the different equivalent fractions that could be made. See how you could draw lines over this to see the sixths and say that's worth one sixth of that region is green. And then here is the, um, that's marker number, uh, well, actually, this is the same marker, but different ways you could be drawing it, right? 4 24 so we can see every single square. 2 twelfths, and you've made those twelfths, and we can see two of those twelfths are colored in, okay? And 1 sixth. All right, this is a good calendar grid for fraction stuff. All right, calendar collector is where you're rolling and practicing your multiplication facts, and then doing this four times, five times every day, and then seeing whether the products turn out to be even or odd, and working on uh, multiplication and even oddness, and even some probability. Uh, what's cool is if you rolled like a six and a seven, instead of just being like, what's six times seven, and then getting their answer at 42 and writing that down, we can use our strategy. So if it's a six times seven, I could say, ooh, it's a six fact. Six fact, I could break it up into a five and one more, and each of these are seven. So I could say seven times five plus one more group of seven, or I could break that six times seven. I could do six broken up this way, and each one of these are seven. So if this is 7, 14, 21, then 21 and 21 will give me 42. So trying to work on strategy, uh, when we're multiplying. And then if you want to chart those observations, there's the places you can chart them with the kids. Computational fluency, another part from Number Corner. There's more quick fact multiplication division sheets to practice. You can play this 10 to win game. Uh, here is the PDFs of that one. There is a visual display that you can find on the Bridges site if you would like that. Number line. There's more games here, so you can check the put it on the line, which you've played before, okay? And also visual displays could be found on the Bridges site. I'll try and get those links on there. And then solving problems. These are gonna be more extension type problems for kids who could handle a little uh, more tougher of problems who have a little more perseverance to try some of these guys. And then um, extra number corner checkup. Uh, it's a review of the entire year if you'd like uh, some more practice ideas. They're there. All right. That was quickness of number corner.